Hey guys! So, uh, my brother called me yesterday and asked me if I could slot his brake discs. And I've done this once before on my own discs. And it worked reasonably well, so I thought no problem. Uh, he came over last, last night and uh, dropped off the discs. And when I did my brake discs uh, last time, I wasn't perfectly happy with the result, but it, it worked out okay. But I thought that my, there might be a setup that was better, simply. So I kind of brainstormed about it now as I was out in the shop. And uh, in about 15 minutes, this is what I came up with. And I am so happy because the result is perfect. So I'm just going to quickly show you the, the disc. It is, they're perfectly straight and uh, the mill didn't wander about. It did that a little bit the last time. And I think this has to do with, one thing that it has to do with is it is a very good quality mill. Uh, it is a Kenna mill and the number on it is uh, or the the name of it is UEBC end mill D4 and there's a lot of different other numbers but basically it's a ball nosed end mill and uh, that's four millimeters wide and I've taken taken off two millimeters uh, of material in one pass and it's just working perfectly. So I'm gonna let you have a look at the setup and uh, I'll show you on the other brake disc and we have so we have three more sides to go. So, so the last time I did this I had the brake rotor set up on my uh, tool post basically like that and I had an end mill held in the chuck now there's a couple of problems with that uh, one of the problems is that I've heard people say you shouldn't hold a uh, hardened tool in your chuck I have not had any problems with it myself but maybe there are people who have and sometimes I I do hold it in the chuck but um, I kind of wanted to avo avoid it if it was possible and uh, the other problem is that the lathe isn't capable of running as fast a uh, high rpm as the mill wants to go uh, so that got me thinking and I came up with this I already had this uh, holder here for my uh, for when I hold my uh, drill machine when I want to make uh, bolt circles and uh, I knew that this hand mill or whatever it's called router um, is did, did fit that holder so uh, I just kind of tested it out and it seemed to fit nicely the mill uh, was held in place perfectly by this so uh, it, it I got to thinking that maybe it could work simply and on the back side of the lathe I'm using my uh, indexing attachment so all I do when I when I've uh, made one slot is I just go back to the back of the lathe and I change the position of the chuck so I can index it. In this case, I'm using five slots per side. Um, so that's the basic setup. It's, as I said, it's working very good. So, uh, so I'll put the other brake rotor up now and we'll, uh, we'll test it out once again. And you can see for yourselves. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see this now. Um, it's not perfect, but I really don't have another any other way to mount my camera. But there's the tip of the mill, and uh, 
The reason that this is on the back on, of the lathe now is that I want these two uh, discs to be symmetrical but not the same since they are on different sides of the vehicle. So I want the slots on one, one of the discs to go backwards and uh, then of course I have to turn it uh, on the other side of the car. So uh, let's hit it. Right, so that's one. And what I'll do then is I'll just go back here to the, the back of the lathe and I'll simply turn my chuck, unlock it, and then we'll do another one. As you can see, the result is very good. And uh, as I said, I am I am amazed at how good it is because it's a really crappy router. And uh, and I wasn't expecting this this good of a result. We'll do another one from this angle. The lighting could be better down there, but uh, it's what it is.
So there we go. Another one done. Nice finish and everything. Now, this, as I said, this uh, router here is not a very good one. It's basically the cheapest one you can get a hold of in Sweden. And uh, so I'm kind of curious what would happen if you, you'd use a router of good quality. Uh, I did not expect the, the bearings in this to be as exact as they were. So, uh, really happy. So, I'm gonna get the last two uh, sides done and uh, that'll be it. So, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, like if you like, subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in the future. Bye!